So I was hired as the auditorium manager in 2016. Uh, and one of the things that I've been tasked with in my time here uh, is coming up with new and exciting events. In 2018, I was attending the Arts Midwest Conference. A friend of mine who I was walking around seeing some showcases with said, hey, let's go check these guys out. We had them at our Performing Arts Center and I think you would really like them. So we went in to see a group called The Reminders. For seven minutes, uh, I watched a whole bunch of people get up off their feet and have a great time. And what I heard was a very positive and uplifting message and something that I really connected with. Uh, and I thought, man, this would be a really great event to bring to Ames. Fortunately, in the fall of 2021, some really important grants came through uh, from Arts Midwest and from the National Endowment from the Arts, and we were able to make it happen. So the Reminders are a husband and wife hip hop duo uh, from Colorado Springs, Colorado. The group consists of Asia Black and Big Samir, uh, and the two of them tour the world, uh, and they do things like this in all the communities that they go to. Uh, they were also joined on stage by DJ Carl Carell, who is actually a producer who has helped produce a lot of their music as well. So what really interested me about the Reminders uh, was the positive nature of all their messages. Uh, their music is very upbeat, it's very exciting, uh, and they also offered a lot of workshops that they could do within the community. Things like positive expression through songwriting, things about bringing members of your community in who maybe don't have exposure to the arts. Uh, and it was really the idea of being able to take these folks out to see our community and to talk to people that I thought was really the main reason why I wanted to bring them to town. Our time with the Reminders in Ames consisted of, of two different sort of events. We had events that were within the community, workshop events, uh, and a concert here at the auditorium. Uh, so in those workshops, we went to the Boys and Girls Club of Story County. We went and met with some folks at YSS. Uh, we went to the Ames Public High School. We went to Iowa State University, and they did a lecture on the history of hip hop culture in this country. And we also did a workshop at, at the Ames Public Library. My name is Becky Lundy. I am the site director here at Boys and Girls Clubs of Story County. I got to observe the kids having a fantastic time. They were super happy to have visitors coming in and just to experience um, and get to express themselves through dance and music. Um, it really brought out different sides to the kids. It was so neat because it's the arts and sciences and um, it just it shows kids what other opportunities there are. We had like eight-year-olds getting up and rapping and we didn't even know they had the ability to do that. We have a, a kiddo um, who's on the spectrum and just the, the fact that they got to just express themselves through dance. Um, it was a whole nother side uh, to that kiddo that we got to enjoy. I think one of the most eye-opening things that happened uh, while that we're here, um, we had a chance to work with some youth in different situations. Uh, and some of those youth actually attended the concert. Uh, and after the concert, a group of guys stopped me and one of the students said, you know, this is the first time that I've ever attended a concert sober and I had the best time I've ever had in my life. And for me, it's hearing things like that that makes all the work, you know, all the time that we put into this worthwhile. Something that's important to recognize is that, that events like this would never be possible without the help from sponsors. Um, we had support from the Ames chapter of the NAACP, a sponsorship from REG here in town, uh, and then we also got support from the library, uh, from the Iowa State Lectures Department, and the Ames Police Foundation as well. One thing that we were actually able to do because of our sponsorships and grants that we got was give a bunch of tickets away to folks who participated in the workshop. We would love to do it in the future again. Um, our kids just love to meet new people and have new experiences. I really do think events like this are truly special because they have such a broad community impact and because we're inviting people in who may not have ever been to an auditorium show before, that is reason enough to keep doing events like this.